Greetings, what's up, and well met. Glad to be back with another Foundry Virtual Tabletop Module Showcase. Today I've got Soundscape by Chris. It's an amazing mod that gives you a soundboard and a sound mixer at the same time. I couldn't have done what I needed to do with a mass combat situation without it, and I'd like to show it off. Before that, uh, welcome back to the channel. If you have previously seen my videos, thank you very much for returning. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel. It's gone by a few different names, but I finally settled on this one here. D&D's Nuts. I'm gonna make official announcements soon. I've got a logo in the works as well as some other things, so stay tuned. And without further ado, let's hop into the video. Ah, uh, yes. Back in Foundry. I'm on version 11. I'll be showcasing this mod on this version. Uh, it works on this as well as any previous version. And on version 12, the new one. Though there might be some compatibility warnings, but the mod author said that those can be ignored. This is currently not one of the actively supported mods of theirs, but if there's enough community hype and support, then it will turn into one. So let me show you why you want this in your game. We're going to start here by going up in the top right in our tabs and clicking on the playlist tab right here. You'll notice a new button, Soundscape, once you have the mod installed, and it'll pull up our mixer and soundboard. Now, if this is your first time using the mod, it will be a blank slate. I've already got some stuff in here from when I was using it, but we'll go through how to add some new stuff together. We'll add some tracks together as well as some soundboard buttons. Uh, but let's show the functionality here. Uh, we're going to get the Orcish Death Metal Band Nartooth rolling. Set our music for the scene. Now, you should be able to hear that coming through. And once the battle commences, we'll get our Orc battle sounds as well as our normal battle sounds in there. And I have three different tracks all playing simultaneously. And uh, you can even separate them a bit more if you want with these panning options at the top, which I will do to help. So I put the death metal band on the left and then I pan the battle sounds to the right and it helps separate them a bit. And we can take a listen to that for a moment. Hell yeah, all right. So now let's add a new track. Go ahead and click the cog at the top of one of your open channels and it'll pull up this sound configuration menu. So from here you can choose, you, on an individual file, you can choose a playlist and have it play through the various tracks of that playlist or a single song from the playlist. It's got a lot of customizability and a lot of options that you can do. So we're going to do playlist single sound though. I'm going to choose the playlist tavern from mine and it can be any playlist you have in your audio area in, in Foundry. And then I'm going to choose elf song tavern. If you know, you know, and we can name it here. Boom. Um, and then you can have it delay, you can start it, have it start, you know, 10 seconds in and stop 10 seconds early if you want. You can even loop it, have it fade in, fade out. I'm just going to save it bare bones just like that. And you'll notice on our new track here, we've got Elf Song Tavern. Uh, so I'm going to bring the volume down from 100 on this track and then we can test it out here. Make sure it works. There we go. Now you'll notice some of these other buttons here on the track. We've got an FX button. Um, and with this, you've got your, your different filters, your peaks, uh, playback rates, delays. I didn't actually mess around with any of this. Uh, it's a bit too complicated for me. I got a small brain, so I kept it basic. Um, if you know what any of this actually means, you can delve in here and do some crazy stuff with your sounds. It's pretty cool that they have that option. Uh, right below that, we have the M for mute, if you want to mute a specific channel. You got the S for solo, so that will make it so this is the only channel that's playing, even if you have, you know, for example, Nartooth over there shredding at the same time. It'll make it so your Elf Song Tavern is the only solo track playing. You can also link channels, so if I link these two, their volumes. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I thought I did something wrong, but no, they're definitely linked. It just seems to be a ratio of some kind, so learn something new together there. Just a couple other quick features of the mixer side of this. We have a master start stop button at the bottom in case you want to get all of your tracks rolling and then cut them at the same time. Whenever you need that, you've got a master volume control over here as well as a master mute to mute all of your tracks at the same time. Above that, this music note here, you can click that to just give you your mixer on screen. Click it again, opens up the soundboard. Speaking of the soundboard, let's go. So you've got 25 open slots in the soundboard that you can upload any sound you would like to it. You've got an overall volume control at the bottom for these sounds, as well as a mass stop in case you need to cut some of these out. Boom. There we go. So adding a sound together. Let's do that. So click on an open slot here and it'll pull up this 
soundboard configuration menu here. We've got the same drop down menu that we have for the mixer tracks. So you can pick a playlist, a complete playlist or a single sound. Um, you can have it play from a whole folder or just a single sound out of the folder. So we're gonna do the single sound again. Click on the browse files button next to your path and it'll bring up your user data folders or whatever, wherever you keep your sounds, that's where you'll navigate to. So we'll go in here, um, Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus. That sounds cool, let's do that. So we're gonna do that and then you can pick an icon as well. Um, and with this, it'll just, you know, wherever you have your icon stored, just do that. Um, we'll go with a reptile. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? T-Rex. Uh, that'll work. Okay, so we have that. We're good on that. You can set the volume, the playback speed. Just going to save the configuration there. Oh, yeah, we can't forget to name it. T-Rex. Boom. There it is. Now you just have that at your soundboard tips. Context. So why I found this mod... Uh, is because I needed something to help me simulate the mass combat that I was trying to achieve in the session. And I really couldn't have done it without this, because it, it really, it was a game changer. You'll see on the scene here, I have an evil army of orcs, evil humans, ogres. And then on this side, we have dwarves, elves, humans. Yeah, I know, I like Lord of the Rings, who doesn't? Anyways, so this is what we're trying to achieve here. And with the mixer, you're able to have our death metal band I was talking about playing, Nartooth. They were uh, having a good time and you need the battle sounds to do that. Uh, when the dragon came in and was flying overhead, you were able to simulate that through audio rather than just telling your players, hey, there's a dragon flying overhead. Uh, they kind of picked it up and then were able to discern that from themselves. Then you can use the soundboard. Say your enemies are bringing in reinforcements. They have the war horns. That is no orc horn. There we go, that's an orc horn. Um, you have the dragon flying overhead, roaring, doing creepy growls, you know, whatever. Um, all of this together, combined with uh, what I had set up here, really achieved that mass battlefield. So that's why I found this mod, and that's why I used it. And I can't recommend Soundscape enough. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked the mod that was showcased in it. Again, that's Soundscape by Chris. There will be a link to the mod page down below in the description. And if you have any questions about this mod or any of the other mods you saw me using in this video, please let me know. I plan on making many more module showcase videos in the future, and I'd love to know what you guys want to see. The next video I plan on releasing will be going over the mass combat system that I use, and I will be drafting up a PDF that you can download and use in your games. So stay tuned for that. This has been another video by D&D's Nuts. If this was helpful, if you're going to use this mod, drop a like. Subscribe to stay tuned for future videos, and thank you, and may the die roll in your favor.